here at GMRI, when we look out at the 21st century, we believe it's going to prove to be the ocean century. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered uh, by ocean. 40% of the world's population lives along our coasts. 80% of all life uh, exists uh, in the ocean. Uh, it's a very, very important part of the global ecosystem. Um, the ocean is warming and reflecting the implications of climate change, and we're going to live with that in the 21st century. And it's going to be challenging. It's going to challenge coastal communities worldwide to deal with, with rising sea levels, to deal with warming water, and all the change and uncertainty that creates. Here in the Gulf of Maine, we, we, we have an opportunity uh, to, to think of the Gulf of Maine as a, as a laboratory for developing solutions that not only work here, and, uh, but also have relevance uh, in other parts of the world. The big challenge that I see for the ecosystems here in the Gulf of Maine and the people that depend on them is the really rapid pace of change that we have in the Gulf of Maine. This is part, you know, very much a part of the natural uh, you know, part of living in New England, that we can have very cold years and we can have very warm years. And we see those reflected in the ocean. But over the last 10 years, we've gone through a really remarkable warming period where essentially we've gone from conditions like what we, what we would expect for the average in the 1980s to all of a sudden what we think of as the average conditions, what we expect to have in 2050 over a very short period of time. What I'm really interested in for solutions is how do we use data to help people make smart decisions in the face of this change? So how do we take all of the great data that we collect in the Gulf of Maine on the physical conditions through like near coast buoys, uh, and the biological conditions from working with fishermen or working with fisheries scientists, and how do we bring this data to people who need to make de decisions? So whether it's fishery managers who are trying to figure out how to, how to manage cod and other species uh, in this you know, highly variable ocean, or whether it's city planners here in Portland who are wrestling with sea level rise, they have, we, there's a lot of data that we can help them uh, help bring to them and, and, and help make that accessible. One of the big challenges facing the Gulf of Maine right now is the decline in codfish in the Gulf. The Northeast Fisheries Science Center recently redid the evaluation of the stock of Gulf of Maine cod and discovered that it's at about two or three percent of its historic level. That's a dramatic decline on a, for a stock that's been the economic livelihood for coastal communities around the region for close to 400 years. While the news around cod is dismal, there's actually a lot of stocks and fisheries in, in the region that are doing extremely well. The Gulf of Maine remains a highly productive ecosystem, so species such as dogfish, whiting, redfish, pollock are at near historic highs. And some of the work that we're doing with the fishing industry and with the consuming public is to develop markets and interest in those species, so-called underutilized species, so that fishermen have markets to bring home some of these fish that are plentiful and begin to replace uh, the decline that they're facing in the codfish. All of the data indicates that the workforce opportunities in the next decades are going to require students to have capabilities around what we call STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And this is true whether the career is actually in science or it's in some other industry. We want kids to engage with, with questions around science like what contributes to a healthy Gulf of Maine? What kinds of questions do we have to ask in order to understand that? What data do we need to collect and how do we go about collecting it? Those are the same questions that our scientists are wrangling with as they do their professional work. GMRI programs support the development of these STEM literacy skills by giving kids hands-on experiences. Whether they're handling a lobster in the lab or out in the field looking at invasive species across Maine, or pondering their household electricity consumption data through our powerhouse program. In every case, what we're trying to do is ignite passion and curiosity in the hope that one day it develops into an interest in science or into just being an engaged citizen in the 21st century. Looking forward over the next decade, uh, we are working very hard uh, at the staff level, at the board level, to put together the resources so that we can have transformative impact going forward. And we think that we have the opportunity here in Maine, uh, working with lots of other very capable partners, for the Gulf of Maine to really emerge as a model from a global point of view, uh, and to both transform how we uh, earn a living, how we take care of the ocean here, 
as well as perhaps provide uh, insights that are that are valuable in other parts of the world.